Hey guys, welcome back. I just walked into the new area, so uh, don't flip out. Anyways, I got that chest. So let's see what's in here. It looks like a church. That's what I want to guess. Not even remotely close. Wow, uh, art is grueling pursuit. Down in the trenches, it's tough to tell whether you're not, whether or not you're improving. If you could bring me something to serve as inspiration, that helped me get that ball rolling. I think I can make something new if I have some crystal fragments from the Crimson Forest. Sure wish someone would bring me one. I'm guessing I don't have one. Five sticky tape. Fucking get the plant. What do you think? This culture isn't it mesmerizing? How the line meets with the surface? Alright, out of here. I know there's another dream here. You again, huh? I better not catch you loitering. I cast a fishing line for the first time in many years, but I guess my skills have left me. The fish took off with my rod. I know at some point in the game here a memory will start. I might not I might have to do something I just don't know what it is. That's why we hid the treasure in. Hey! Agreed. Woo! Who are you guys? You want to join our club? Club? Grown ups weren't allowed usually, but if you insist, we can put you through the initiation trial. Sure. Alright, find all the treasure and I'll bring them back. Mine is a red balloon and it's a hidden here. Something of the same color. I put it right next to something that looks like it. Think you can find it? Mine is a doll with a dress. She loves to go shopping around this road. If you can find them, bring them back here. This seems more of a fetch quest. Hey, wait, wait up. Huh? Oh, you're not my brother. I'm sorry, my sister must have caused you trouble. Look, you're going to get lost if you keep that up. I told you to wait while I get the balloon, didn't I? Oh, hell no. Three, three dreams in a row. Forget that. Alright. I'll remember. Don't forget me now. N next time, when the next time I sleep in an inn, I'll make sure to play it. But I just watched three dreams in a row. That's... I need a break. <laughs> Healing herb. The Brave Little Boy Part 1. Once there was a little boy who was very brave. He was also very well behaved, so all of his family loved him very much. In a nearby mountain, there was an evil monster who liked to cause trouble for the people in town. Running there 
crops and kidnapping their children, he was strong. His fangs were sharpened, the body was covered with tough scales, and so none of the soldiers in the land were strong enough to defeat him. One day, the brave little Roy saw how distressed the townspeople were. Why is everyone crying? He asked his mother. The evil monster kidnapped the princess, she answered. Why was the princess captured? The boy asked. The monster was like a little children and beautiful princesses that most because their meat is soft and succulent, answered the mother. Why is anyone helping the princess? The boy asked. The mother answered. The soldier tries to rescue her, but they were all killed by the monster. The monster was one of the strongest in the land, even when every soldier in the town banded together to fight him. He just opened his enormous mouth and swallowed them up all at once. But mother, the boy explained, doesn't he have any weaknesses? The mother... The monster has no weak no weaknesses. Wait, the monster has no scales on the tip of his tail, his mother said. So when you touch it, they say the pains him terribly. But the monster is crafty and he never shows his tail to anyone. He always keeps his enemy in front of him. Upon hearing that from his mother, the brave little boy had a brilliant idea to be continued. Sneaking out of the town one day, the brave little boy was spotted by his friends. The little bird, where where are you going? The monster is ahead of it. Dangerous. I got an email. One second. An important message about your Bioware account. We recently learned that hackers gained un unauthorized access to the decade-old Bioware server, system supporting the Neverwinter Nights forum. We immediately took the appropriate steps to protect our customers' data and launched a thorough, ongoing evaluation of the breach. We are determined that no credit card data was compromised from servers, nor did we ever have or store sensitive data like social security numbers. Our investigation shows that information such as usernames, encrypted password, email addresses, mailing addresses, names, phone numbers, CD keys, and birth dates on this forum account the system may have been compromised as well as the other information. If any of these have been associated with your EA account, it, in an abundance of caution, we have changed our password, your password to ensure this account measure. Please visit this URL. Wait. Jesus Christ. To reset your password immediately. If your link has expired, click here to generate a new email. We take the security of our information very seriously and regret any inconvenience this may have caused you. If your username, email address, and or password on your EA account are similar to those to use on the other sites, we recommend changing the password on those sites as well. We advise all of our fans to always be aware of specific emails. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, our FAQ. Yep. So yeah. And now you know. Anyways, back to this. Uh, that's exactly what I need your help with, so you could go to the other side of the mountain and peck the monster on the head for me. You're small and you can do it while flying. The bird perched the little boy's shoulder all the way right. You're my friend, so I'll help you. The boy and the bird climbed the mountain. The bones of the monster's victim were scattered across the mountainside, and the monster's fearsome bellow grew louder and louder. Here I go, said the bird as it took off. The boy collected some sharp pointy stones and put them in his pocket and he approached the mountaintop the boy saw a gigantic monster he sat still and waited silently until until from the other side of the mountain he saw the bird shoot down like an arrow and peck the monster's head with a sharp beak the monster surprised turned around and tried to swallow the impertinent little bird just then the boy lunged the monster's closed tail and drove a sharp stone deep into the soft flesh of the beast. This monster flailed about in pain, but the boy held onto his tail, refusing to let go. One by one he plunged all the sharp stones from his pocket into the monster's tail. Eventually it proved too much to the mighty beast, and with a mighty thump he fell to the ground. The brave little boy found the kidnapped princess and returned home with his mother. The brave little boy married the princess and his bird friend was awarded all the bread crusts he could eat and live happily ever after well that happened i'm surprised about the uh the ea thing i guess I, you, you everyone has to change their password this isn't like uh something you could do so now i gotta do that
in here? Four and six in it. Okay. That's a pretty weird thing to have in your household. Anyways, before I go into the next area, I think I'm going to go give that bitch back her dog. Oh look, the dog's back. Thank you for finding Mo for me. Here, you can have this. Thanks again. Here, Mo. You say thanks too. Woof woof. Just a piece of shit cat. Alright, guys. It's late. I'll see you guys when I see you.